السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين جزاكم الله خيرا for allowing me the opportunity to come and address you this evening I'm very honored to have the opportunity to speak to this community and I'm very honored that such a program existed today and yesterday and I hope that this conversation will not end with this conference. This conversation and the development of our community in this specific area is so critical, I can't impress upon it enough. When we talk about changing narratives, when we talk about how our community is affected in the broader discussion in the United States, we're talking about our very existence. We're talking about what it means to be a Muslim in America. We're talking about who defines what it means to be a Muslim in America. And it's my firm belief that it is our responsibility to decide what our narrative is. It is our responsibility to define who we are. It is our responsibility to represent the goodness and the greatness of our ummah. So often we are hearing people talk about our religion as if we're not even here. They're talking about Muslims as if we aren't a part of this community. And that has to stop. It has to stop for us being inside our masajid and us not coming out and engaging with the broader community. It has to stop that we don't engage with people only except for the purposes of, of giving da'wah. That's a, an honorable, honorable goal, and one that is central here tonight as we raise funds for the da'wah center and the outreach department. But we must be part of the community as a whole. We must get outside of the masajid wall and do things only for the sake of bettering our community, fi sabilillah. I spoke today at a group of ladies who were in a tarbiya session, and I was speaking on civic engagement in particular. And I was encouraging people the way I'm encouraging you now to get out, be active, volunteer, do things in the broader context. This will go a long way to changing our narrative. And afterwards, a lady who came up to me, she was an elderly lady, and she said, I was so inspired by your presentation that I'm going to vote in November for the first time in my life. All it took was one encouraging statement for her to get out and take part in civic society. My organization, I work for the Council on American Islamic Relations, our strategic vision is centered upon changing our narrative. I can't wait for the day when we uphold and promote our narrative because our narrative has been defined properly. But right now, it's time for change. And we can't change a narrative unless we invest in the programs and the institutions that are doing this work. By the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our organization has had the opportunity to grow and is still growing. We were able to hire four amazing staff members, go from an office of one to an office of five. You have an organization here who desperately needs the same funding, who desperately needs an uplift in their department, who is going to appeal to you very strongly tonight to invest in bettering our community, in having the people in place, which is essential, but also the resources in place to do this work, to support people when they come to the Dean of Islam, to support programs that help reach out into the community. When, when ICI started, the goal was to be the minaret of Islam in the West. It has accomplished that to a great degree, but just because it's reached a certain attainment, we don't put it on autopilot. We continue to invest. Don't just build this amazing hall. Don't just build this amazing multi-purpose hall. 
don't just have the, the musalla. That's all critical pieces. But you have to fill it with good works. You have to work fi sabilillah in order to grow, in order to spread uh, the message and the goodness and the proper narrative of this deen. So I implore people tonight to invest in organizations and specifically this one to build programs that work towards changing the narrative. After you invest in it, also get involved. Don't just give money and walk away. Give money and participate. Give money and volunteer. Give money and help drive strategic vision. Invest and invest with your own works. It is essential for every Muslim in this room to do their part. It is essential for every Muslim in this room to spread the message to their fellow Muslims. What you have heard yesterday and today in these programs is something that can be a part of our community and can help to educate us and can help to grow if you take it back. If you take it back and expand upon it within your own circles. But if it stays here tonight, you give money and walk away, or you have your food and you leave, or you take your information and you feel so good about it for a few days and you do a little Facebook, and that's it, then the cause is lost. The cause is lost. You have to take the information and then multiply it by thousands into our community. You have to take, I led a session this morning, I helped uh, be on a session with Sister Dunya on civic engagement and social justice. And by the end of our talk, there was probably 60 or so ladies in the room and a few uh, brothers as well. If it, what I shared with them, if it stays with them, what are we going to have to show for it? Plenty of people had their notebooks and were taking notes and were writing and asking questions. But if that knowledge stays with them, if there's no knowledge transfer, those of you who are in corporate environments understand the concept of knowledge transfer. If you don't pass it on, it dies with you, right? So take what you've learned. Take this great resource, this great service that ICI has provided for you these couple of days with some of the top speakers in the world. Take what they've given to you and expand upon it. And don't leave tonight without contributing towards this effort of building this Dawa Services Department. You need to invest to keep it going, and you need to invest to keep it growing. Jazakumallahu khayran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Takbir. Allahu akbar. MashaAllah, JazakAllah Khair and Sister Aliyah for the beautiful and powerful message. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us all the ability to implement this and understand this in a better way. Ameen Ya Rab. Now, to help you digest your food better, we have a beautiful group of brothers. Uh, Brother Ahmed, Munshid Ahmed, Munshid Asad, and Munshid Ayman. Ayman, Alhamdulillah. Ashaq al Habib is the group, and they will be performing the nasheed for us, inshaAllah. So give them a warm welcome. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Am Hijri Mubarak, insha'Allah, wa 